Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Prince. I'll be performing a calculation on dwelling unit, and I'll be utilizing the National Electrical Code, in particular, to the demand for the loads that will be applied to the unit. And um, this presentation is brought to you by the Vigilant Society of Engineers. Okay, so we're using the standard method to determine the service size for the unit. So the question goes like this. What size service will be required for a two-family dwelling where each unit is 1,000 square feet and contains the following loads? The system voltage is 120 by 240 volts single phase. So the loads in the um, question is Dishwasher, waste disposer, water eater, dryer, range, eating, and AC unit. Right? So we're going to apply demand factors for each load. But firstly, let us go into um, this calculation. And the first thing we're going to take into account is the general lighting and receptacle load right for general lighting and receptacle we should take in consideration the occupancy right and the occupancy by demand is 3 VA per square feet and um, for this two family dwelling we have two floors so we would have twice the amount applied on each floor so for one floor it is 1000 square feet so if we should apply 3 VA per square feet then would have resulted in 3000 VA per demand for one floor right and uh, going further we should add Two small appliance circuit for um, this calculation, right? Though it haven't mentioned in the the, um, the load that was given, we must apply two small appliance circuit. So by applying two small appliance circuit, we would have given our receive rather 3,000 VA, right, per floor, and um, Finally, we're going to have the laundry appliance circuit and everything that we do, we um, applied the um, article as it's determined by code for um, each load. So for the laundry appliance circuit, we would have resulted in 1,500 VA, right? So total for two floors. Would have resulted in two times seven thousand five hundred VA, which would equal to fifteen thousand VA. Right. So now we must apply a demand factor to get our final answer, that is for general lighting and receptacle demand. So what we are looking at here is the first three thousand VA must be taken at. 100% and the remainder at 35%. But back up a little bit, if we should apply this demand factor from the answer that we received, we would have, have 3000 from the first 100% and for the second at 35%, that would have been 35% at 12,000 taken from the difference of 15,000 and the 3,000 VA for the, from the first demand and our answer for 35% at 12,000 VA is 4,200 VA so for general lighting and receptacle load our total demand would have worked out to be 7,200 VA So the next load 
we should take in consideration is a fixed appliance load. So fixed appliance include range, waste disposal, and water eater. Fixed appliance could be other loads as well. But for this question, we have these loads given and we have two floors to take in consideration. So two floors would have given us roughly six units. So six units of range waste disposal and water eater would be total two thousand all right twice the total of six thousand five hundred PA. Now the total fixed appliance load is equal 13,000 PA and as we said it would have been roughly four or more fixed appliance unit in this question. So according to article 22051 we should apply 75% to our total load. So that would have left us with 9,750 VA. Then the next load we have to take in account is the range and cook unit. In this question, we got a range of 12,000 VA, but then that just for one floor. So we need roughly two units to take in account. So two unit at 12,000 VA, according to article 220, 55 would have left us with 11,000 VA per demand for the entire load as for this range. Now, clothes are clothes clothing dryers right um according to article 22054 the minimum load to take in consideration is 5000 va now we have one unit at 4500 va so we should apply the minimum requirement per demand for each dryer units Therefore, for two units, we would have a demand of 10,000 VA. So, AC versus eating load. It is said that we should take the largest of the units for the AC and the eating units or eating loads. Now, for the AC in this question, we have a 13.8 amps compressor with 1.20 amps fan, both operating at 240 volts. Now, taking consideration two floors of this household or dwelling unit, that would have results twice the 13.8 amps by 240 plus 1.20 amps by 240 volts so our final result would have been 7200 VA for the AC unit and for the eating unit with the 7500 VA per unit if we times both load by two, it would have resulted in 15,000 VA. Now bear in mind that AC and eating unit is calculated at 100%. However, we must take the largest of the unit because AC and eating can't be used at the same time. So we must take the peak load. So the peak load for the AC versus DC unit is the eating unit which is 15,000 VA so the demand load for the two family dwelling unit would lead us with a total 
of lighting and receptacle 7200 BA and for the range 11,000 BA and the dryer at 10,000 BA and the ETD unit 15,000 BA and the fixed appliance unit at 9,750 BA. That finalizes the demand load total at 52,950 BA and taken the total divided by the nominal value of 240 volts will leave back with 220.6 amps and um, we should use this value to find the service so therefore we refer to table 310.15 b16 to find the service value of 225 amps with a 3 art AWG conduct. Well folks, thanks. That's it. Next time, join us for the other presentation. You may visit us at VigilanceSocietyOfEngineers.com for more information and updates. Thank you. Thank you.